Hi, I'm Lucy Ravitch from KidsMathTeacher.com where we take everyday things and turn them into hands-on math activities. Yay! For today's Math Activity Thursday, we're going to be working with place value. Mainly place value of ones, tens, and hundreds. But if you can think of objects in your house that you could make up to thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, a million, great! One thing I like to do as we're working with place value systems is to get candies or small objects and start to group them into groups of ten and label your group with a, a title. And then take that group and then make it into a hundred. Here's a few different ways you could do it. Take for example these candles. With candles, you can take the individual candles and then count them into groups of 10 and then label them how you want. I call my groups packs. And then how many packs would make a box? A box would be 100. If I was using a candy like Smarties, I would take each Smartie and then group it in a roll of 10 and then call 10 groups of 10, 10 rolls, I'd call that a bag. When you have your different groups of ones, tens, and hundred, you can play with them. You can break up the bag of hundred and count them by 10, 20, 30, and count them that way. And then also you can just play with numbers. You can literally have them spread out like this, so this would be 115 Smarties are in there or you can just make up numbers. So like if we had four bags, three rolls, and two Smarties, it's 432 Smarties altogether. You can take ordinary items around your house or actually just think of items and draw them up. With my printable book, Trouble with Monkeys, that I sell online either at Kids Math Teacher and teachers pay teachers, I also have these place value like number cards that I sell. I'll put a link in the description below. But So like this one, it would be 76 oranges. This one, 82. And you can play with these cards and just practice counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70. And you could play, oh, apparently they're all upside down. But you know, just play with the cards and you can use them that way. Remember to check out Trouble with Monkeys on Kickstarter and help it become a fully illustrated published book. I hope you had a great time working with place value with whatever objects you used at your house. I'd love to hear what you used in the description below. Thanks for all my supporters on Patreon. You too can become a supporter and help make these fun math activities for kids and their families. See you next time.